Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the magical world of Disney Pixel RPG, the latest and greatest from Gungho Online Entertainment. If you've ever wanted to team up with your favorite Disney characters in an epic pixel art adventure, then this game is totally for you. We're talking fast-paced battles, epic quests across multiple Disney worlds, and of course, the classic heroes we all know and love, now in adorable pixel form. Trust me, this one's a must-play for Disney fans and RPG lovers alike. In today's video, we're breaking down the ultimate character tier list so you know exactly who to pick to climb that leaderboard fast. Whether you're just starting out or looking to dominate with the best heroes, I've got you covered. We'll be ranking the top characters based on their attack, defense, and overall battle skills. So, grab your Mickey ears and let's jump right into this magical pixelated adventure. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking characters in Disney Pixel RPG. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. My friends, only 0.1% of viewers subscribe. If you like this type of content, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance for your support. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Pluto, Tigger, Donald, Duck, Pinocchio, Mickey Mouse, and Eeyore. Alright, buckle up folks, because we're diving into the C-tier characters of Disney Pixel RPG, and believe me, mate, this tier is like that weird middle ground at a carnival. You know, it's fun for a moment, but not quite where you want to stay. Let's break down these characters, and you'll see why they didn't quite make it to the big leagues. First up, we've got Carnival Mickey Mouse, our cheerful two-star DPS. Now don't get me wrong, his AoE attacks are super handy when you're swarmed by mobs, but his damage output just doesn't hit as hard as some of the other characters with similar abilities. It's like going to a fireworks show and getting a sparkler instead. It's cute, but you want the big explosions, right? Still, he's obtainable right after the tutorial, so he's good for those early levels when you need a little help clearing crowds. Then, there's Carnival Goofy, and boy does this guy pack a punch with that single target damage. I mean, he's all about smacking down enemies with high attack power, and he can even decrease enemy DF once you hit that limit break. Definitely a nice touch. But here's the kicker, he's got defense issues, it's like he's that friend who lifts heavy weights but skips leg day. You're worried he's gonna collapse if someone pushes back too hard. So yeah, great for offense, but watch out for that glass cannon syndrome. Now let's not forget the support gang. Carnival Pluto is up next, and while he's only a 1 star, he's got a good heart. Pluto's all about defense and dodge rate boosts, which sounds great until you realize he's kind of a one trick pony. Like, sure he's got your back if you want to dodge a few hits, but that's about it. Other supports out there are way more flexible and can offer buffs in different areas, so Pluto feels a bit like he's showing up to a superhero fight with a broom, useful in some cases, but definitely not the star of the show. Alright, if we're talking pure fun, then Honey Farm Tigger bounces right into the picture. He's got that 2 star single target attack damage, and when he gets going, he can paralyze enemies with his limit break, which is always a blast. But, and this is a big but, he's got that classic CE tier problem low defense. It's like Tigger's got all the enthusiasm in the world but forgot to pack his armor. So, while he's hopping around and hitting hard, you better make sure he's not taking too many hits himself. Last one I want to highlight to here is Adventurer Pinocchio, and let's just say this little guy tries his best. He's got decent single target damage, and his limit break paralyze can be clutch. But honestly, his overall stats just don't keep up with the competition. It's like he's swinging a stick while everyone else has swords. You love the spirit, but the execution? Meh, not quite there. Perfect for the beginning of your journey, but he's probably going to be sitting on the bench when you get serious about leveling up. So there you have it. Our C tier crew has its quirks and can be helpful in the early stages of the game, but they might not be sticking around once you start aiming for higher stars and bigger battles. Let me know which of these you've used and if any have surprised you. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Carnival Chip, Legendary Warrior Mulan, Thief Flynn Rider, Singer Marie, Ukulele Master Stitch, Little Elephant Dumbo, DJ Mickey Mouse, Honey Farm Piglet, and Neverland Tinkerbell. Alright folks, let's dive into the land of Disney Pixel RPG and explore some of the underrated gems that you might be sleeping on, the P-tier characters. Now, don't get me wrong, these aren't the flashy game-changing units that everyone's gunning for, but they've got some solid potential if you play your cards right. Trust me, you'll want to know how to use these heroes effectively, and they might just surprise you. First up, we've got Carnival Chip, a little one-star support hero with a big heart. 
Chip's all about keeping your SP in check. He's not going to blow your mind with epic attacks, but if you've ever run out of SP mid-battle and felt that sting, Chip's got your back. With him on the team, you'll notice that your SP bar stays fuller, which can be a total game changer when you're in those long, drawn out fights. Now, if you want someone who can dish out the pain, look no further than legendary warrior Mulan. This 3 star DPS unit is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to AoE attacks. She's got versatility and damage in spades, which makes her a beast on the battlefield. The only catch? She guzzles SP like crazy. You'll need to keep an eye on that bar, or else you'll find yourself in a sticky situation without enough juice to unleash her full potential. But pair her with Carnival Chip, and you might just have a dynamic duo on your hands. Next, let's talk about Singer Marie, our one-star tank. Now, she's a bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, she can draw in enemies and take the heat off your DPS units. Perfect, right? The downside is, her defense isn't the greatest, so she might fold quicker than you'd like. If you team her up with someone who can boost def defense though, she can be a real lifesaver and hold the line just long enough for your heavy hitters to clean up. Moving on to the adorable Ukulele Master Stitch. Yes, Stitch shreds on the ukulele and supports your team like a champ. This 2 star support unit can boost your crit rate and even provide HP recovery over time. He's the guy you call when you've got a heavy hitter who needs to keep pumping out damage without worrying about staying alive. Stitch keeps him topped up and ready to unleash some serious damage, making him a fantastic addition to any offensive squad. And finally, we've got Honey Farm Piglet, the sweetest little one-star support you'll ever see. He's great for healing and even cures stun effects, which is a huge deal if you're going up against enemies that love to spam status effects. Sure, his healing isn't as high as some of the other supports, but hey, you can't complain when he's got such a versatile toolkit. He might not be the flashiest, but he's reliable, and sometimes that's all you need to turn the tide in battle. So there you have it, some of the B-tier characters in Disney Pixel RPG that can actually shine when you play to their strengths. Give these guys a shot, you might just find a new favorite. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Carnival Minnie Mouse, Carnival Dale, Carnival Daisy Duck, Enchanted Princess Aurora, Evil Ruler Maleficent, Special Agent Judy, Special Agent Nick, Hero Mickey Mouse, and Neverland Peter Pan. All right, let's, let's dive into the A-tier characters in Disney Pixel RPG. These are the ones that can really make a difference when you're strategizing and building your team. Now, some of these characters you might recognize, but what they can do in the game will totally surprise you. Ready to level up your Disney squad? Let's go! First up, we've got Carnival Minnie Mouse, and while she might not seem like a heavy hitter at first glance, her role as a support character is fantastic, especially early on. She's great for healing and curing poison, which is a lifesaver when you're dealing with tough enemies that like to throw status effects at you. Sure, her healing numbers aren't unbreaking any records, but she's incredibly reliable and gets the job done when you need it most. Next, let's talk about one of my personal favorites, Enchanted Princess Aurora. Now don't be fooled by her elegant appearance, this princess can deal some serious damage. With her orange striker skill, she's able to exploit weaknesses like no one's business, and her single target attacks are so strong, you'll be clearing stages before you even know it. If you're looking for a dependable DPS with style, she's definitely the way to go. Now if you're in need of some area of effect magic, Evil Ruler Maleficent is your girl. This 3 star powerhouse can absolutely dominate the battlefield with her AoE attacks and she's got top tier damage output to boot. Just keep an eye on her SP consumption. She's a bit of a mana hog but hey, all that power doesn't come for free. If you manage her SP well, she's a total game changer, dishing out damage to all enemies in her path. And then we have Special Agent Nick from Zootopia, the sly fox himself. He's got some really unique skills up his sleeve. Not only does he have a chance to paralyze enemies with his skill attacks, but when you hit that limit break, he also gains the ability to apply skill lock. That means enemies can't even retaliate. It's like taking away their toys. Nick's a bit of a hybrid, blending offense with some pretty handy disruptive abilities. If you like to mix things up and keep your opponents guessing, he's a must have. So, whether you're looking for a solid healer like Minnie, a heavy hitting princess like Aurora, or a cunning tactician like Nick, the A tier characters have got you covered. Make sure to experiment with these characters, find the best combos, and see which ones fit your playstyle best. You'll be surprised at how much impact a well built A tier character can have in battle. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Carnival Donald Duck, Enchanted Princess Rapunzel, Jewel Guardian Genie, Honey Farm Pooh, Heavy Warrior Goofy, and Robot Baymax. Alright, so let's dive into some of the real heavy hitters in Disney Pixel RPG. 
You know, the ones that make you sit back and say, wow, did I just obliterate that entire wave of enemies in two seconds? Yeah, we're talking about the S tier characters. These heroes and honestly icons have some crazy abilities. And trust me, if you have them in your lineup, you're in for a treat. Let's break down exactly why they're so good. First up, we've got Carnival Donald Duck. I mean, if you've ever wanted to see a duck absolutely wreck things with style, this is it. Donald is your DPS king with those flashy AOE attacks, but he doesn't stop there. He's got some elemental tricks up his sleeve, exploiting weaknesses like nobody's business. The only catch? High SP consumption, so you're going to want to manage that carefully if you want to keep the damage train rolling. But hey, a little SP juggling is worth it when you've got this much power at your disposal. Now, shifting gears a bit to the support squad, Enchanted Princess Rapunzel is an absolute lifesaver. Literally, she not only heals HP, but also cures paralysis, which can be a game changer in those intense boss fights. And get this, with her limit break, she even removes skill lock effects. So if you're tired of your heroes getting frozen out of using their skills, Rapunzel's got your back. She's the ultimate support queen, and her utility is off the charts. But wait, there's more support magic coming in hot with Jewel Guardian Genie. This guy is the MVP of buffs, granting both ATK up and damage reduction. And once you hit that limit break, Genie takes things to a whole new level with evasion up. It's like having your own personal cheerleader that also makes sure you don't get completely wiped out. His buffs are incredibly versatile, making him the glue that holds any strong team together. And hey, we can't forget about our honey-loving friend, Honey Farm Pooh. Don't be fooled by his cuddly appearance, Pooh is all about defense. This bear keeps your team standing with continuous HP recovery and defense boosts, and if you're lucky enough to hit his limit break, he cranks up the evasion rate too. Basically, he's the secret source to making your team durable. And honestly, who doesn't want a squad that's nearly impossible to take down? So there you have it, some of the absolute must-have S-tier characters in Disney Pixel RPG. Whether you're all about dishing out damage or building an unbreakable defense, there's a character for you in this tier. But remember, it's all about building that balanced team. Pair these guys up smartly and you'll breeze through those stages like they're nothing. Keep grinding, keep unlocking, and most importantly, have fun with it. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.